A short film about a Mexican mother's quest to find a Donald Trump piñata. Now, that's one of those characters made from paper you use at birthday parties for her son's birthday is winning awards and international acclaim. First-time filmmaker Sarah Cliff came up with the idea after travelling through Mexico and hearing people's anger in the lead-up to the US election. Well, the resulting film is La Madre Buena, or The Good Mother. Let's have a look. Entonces... Trump. ¿Cómo? ¿Trump? ¿Sí? No. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I'm pleased to say that this film has just won Women in Film and Television, UK's short film competition. And as you can see, Sarah Cliff joins us now. It's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? It's, it's such a funny little film. Your inspiration behind it, because you were in Mexico for quite some time. Yeah, I was. Um, I actually write uh, articles for Horse Ranch over in Mexico. And I was out riding on the ranch one day with a lady from Washington, D.C., who was asking me, where could you find a Donald Trump piñata? Um, I didn't know what they were or anything about them at the time, but I thought they're a really interesting idea and very funny. So it's an actual thing then, a piñata, yeah. you can get one of those things in, yeah. in Mexico? They exist. So uh, children have them for their birthday parties in different characters uh, and they've filled with sweets and they'll take a stick and bash the piñata until they get their toys inside. Um, so the Donald Trump piñata, uh, it actually has an inevitable ending. So I thought it was a very interesting vehicle to start and write a story from. But what's fascinating is that you made this well before the election result, obviously. Mm. But it's, it's that kind of that feeling of resentment that you were hearing when you were speaking to Mexicans. Mm. Yeah, it was very hard. Um, I've been traveling a lot. I've been in the US and I've been in Mexico as well. Um, my fiance is actually Mexican. And I was and because I would spent time in Mexico, I was getting quite a lot of pushback and people weren't um, uh, as positive as they may have been uh, and it really inspired me to go out and write a story to try and shift perception uh, about painting a, a sort of a better view of Mexico and the people I've met and also a strong portrait of women and, and as a central character. Well we're watching the mother then the kind of lengths that she will go to to get this piñata she goes to extreme lengths and it's a beautiful story of how the relationship between the mother and son is so close and the, 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 the fierce things that she will do for him. Mm. I thought it was really important because I was watching uh, I suppose the sort of race between uh, Hillary and Donald um, going forward. And so there's, it's very much a you know, man versus woman. Uh, and I was really interested in sort of what, what drives women forward, you know, and sort of, and the strength behind being a mother uh, could really push you to do many things. And obviously we're gonna have to have a spoiler alert, but it's inevitable about how this ends. It's beautiful, isn't it? The actors that you used, yeah. these were actual local actors. Just explain how you found mm -hmm. them. How, how was it working with them? Yeah. Um, I found some amazing talent. Uh, when I actually casted it in Mexico, I was using a very good uh, theater and film uh, talent agent. Uh, and we actually put a Donald Trump piñata in the casting session and would invite the different actors and actresses to come in and talk about their views as a one-on-one -on -one with Donald piñata. So you had them in a room mm -hmm. chatting to this piñata of Donald Trump yeah. and that's how you then decided who would get the roles. Amazing. Yeah, it was part of it. I actually obviously <laughs> took them through scenes and ideas but yeah I wanted to see that uh, how they felt about the situation. Oh well Sarah, absolutely brilliant to speak to you. Thank you very much. Congratulations because I know thank you're winning you. quite a few now awards <laughs> especially given the result as well. Sarah Clift, thank you for sharing The Good Mother with us here. Thank you.